We're out here at Woodland High School for our week seven GSHLfootball.com new athlete player of the week. We got Woodland quarterback Adam Schaup. Um, Adam, you guys went down into, into Washougal. Not many people picked you except smart people. Um, you got down early. It was 20 to seven after one quarter. Um, you, caught, you know, got the big fumble returns, 2014. I mean, we all know how it went. You know, nobody scored in the third. You ran, ran a touchdown in, threw the touchdown to Nick, pushed it into overtime. Crazy first overtime. Was it a first down? Not. Then they got the ball, or you got the ball. I thought you were going to get crushed. Sam O'Hare was chasing you all night long. Yeah. You get the ball up. Nick makes the catch. Defensively, you get the stop. You got the win. You went from 0-9 last year. Three and zero in league. You got one more tough game at home. But uh, what was last week like on the road? Uh, last week was crazy. It's just you know not a lot of. Uh, I mean, we just had to go in there and not overlooking Washougal. You know, we had a good record, but I, we knew Washougal was six and zero. Six and zero. Six and zero. They haven't been beaten yet, and we just had to. We knew we had to play our best game to pull it out. Yeah. So again, you know, they come in six and zero. They've been just steamrolling people, and. You know, all of a sudden, they get up two quick touchdowns. You guys put together a drive, side punches one in. They go right back down, score another touchdown. I mean, are you guys thinking at all, God, they've been blowing people out, and here they are. They've already <laughs> dropped 20 on us in the first quarter. I mean, yeah. what were you guys thinking? I mean, I don't know. I think we were just thinking we got to figure something out or we're going to get blown out. Because, I mean, offensively, we weren't getting any yards, basically. We're going, I think we were three and out our first three drives or something like that. Yeah, you. I mean, first half, statistically, you, you, you were nothing. I mean, it was, you were hanging around. You did just enough. You had the one drive, the fumble return. You just enough to keep yeah. me thinking, eh, they're hanging around. All the Washougal fans were looking at me, laughing. Ah, you big boy. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So then, what happened at halftime? You're down two touchdowns. What happened at halftime? Halftime, everybody just realized, you know, we gotta focus. We gotta focus and get this game back into reach. Being down two touchdowns, I mean, it didn't seem like much, but being against that Washougal offense and defense, I mean, two touchdowns is a lot. They were powerful. Yeah, they. I mean, and they, they move the ball. You're playing defense too. Um, I think their path, the, the touchdown pass, the Sullivan threw. You were in on that one. Couldn't quite get there. I um, mean, so not only are you giving up points, but you're the guy and you couldn't make it. Uh, you know, you missed some throws early. Nick dropped some passes early. You, you get through that third quarter. There's no score. You're still down two touchdowns. Um, then all of a sudden, you, but you started to put together a drive at the end of the third quarter. Yeah. I mean, was that something going into that fourth quarter? You're like, hey, we're, yeah. we're starting something here finally. I think it was just building momentum. I mean, we, need, I, we needed something to spark our offense and, I mean, stop their offense especially. But... I mean, once once I think we got that spark on our offense, we got everything we were on, and then it started getting confidence back in the guys. You know, hey, we can pull this out. Yeah. So you get in the fourth quarter, you cross. I think you'd already crossed midfield, but you get a little closer. All of a sudden, touchdown from you. What happened? You, you dropped back, opened up. What did you see? Uh, that, oh, there was a design to run. What it is is, uh, I just dropped back. If you're from Hawkinson, pay attention. Yeah. I was a, well, I just dropped back, and then I just wait for a guard. I think he pulled. I'm not really sure. Yeah. And then I just. I dive right out the middle. Yeah, so it, it opened up. You, you got the touchdown. Yeah. Now, I had looked down, was typing some stuff. When I come back on film, that was not an onside kick. That just bounced back to you, or was that designed to try to get some guys in there? The, I mean, you scored the touchdown, and they got the ball right back on the kickoff. Oh, the kick. I wasn't sure about what they did the kickoff. What I heard is that we split the two guys out and just did our, you know, traditional, we're going to fake it when we're crowded, but yeah. I guess we kicked it and had two guys split out. And those guys' jobs were just to hit the people. Yeah. And everybody else but the it. ball, it, it went further than a normal kickoff, yeah. and it bounced back towards you off of a Washougal guy. You got it. So sudden change. Yeah. All of a sudden, you got some stuff going. I mean, again, what are you thinking like? Dude, I'm, nice. I'm like, man, I'm, st I'm sitting there on the side and saying, you know, this is just what we needed. I mean, we don't have to, because you know, we have a lot of guys that go both ways, and it's like we don't have to get tired on the defense and go out to offense. It's like we can just go straight to our offense. And, yeah. So now, again, as the quarterback, again, talking about early, you got down, you missed some throws, Nick dropped some balls, but when you needed to, you went to him and he made the catches. So explain what that's like as a quarterback to know, hey, my guy didn't do it early, but I know that, I mean, you, are you thinking, I know he's going to make these catches? Well, I mean, Nick's the big time receiver. It's, I mean, he's, he's the guy that, when, I mean, when, when we need him to catch, he'll catch the ball. That's, yeah. I, I mean, even though he may have some drops, I may, I may make some bad passes, I still trust Nick where I can give him the ball. And 
when, it, when it's a pressure situation, I know he'll catch it. Yeah, so you get the touchdown overtime, crazy second overtime. Now, the touchdown he threw, the game winner, yeah. O'Hare's beating down on you, all the Washougal guys. Exp I mean, we, we were sitting there and, and not knowing what's happening in the other games. If Washougal wins that game, Sam O'Hare is probably the player of the week. Oh, yeah. He chased you around that field like it was nobody's business. What I mean, what was – he was like, gosh dang it, yeah. Sam, can you yeah. go cover somebody? <laughs> yeah. Like, what was that? He was all over well, the place. Yeah, I mean, when I watched film on it the next morning, I, and during the game, I was just – I could sense him around me the whole time, you know. Every time I'd drop back, I'd see him blitzing either right at me or, you know, someone would sit – I'd watch and see him coming in on the other side, yeah. and it was just – I mean, he's all over the place. So that last touchdown, you, you're retreating. I honestly thought, dude, he's getting lit up, right? <laughs> and, I mean, what were you thinking as you're going back? You see him come in. I, my own thought is just I got to get rid of the ball and give somebody a chance to catch it. Yeah. I mean, Nick was that Nick was supposed to run the flag route, and I threw where he thought he, where I thought he'd end up. And Yeah, he's he, there. he made the play. And then, and then you guys come out on defense. You stop him. I mean, what? You're on the road, but yeah. you had a good you had a good woodland crowd down there. So yeah. you know the whole night you're hearing that they're not on your side because they like you guys have no no road. Yeah. Um, we go to a lot of the bigger games, kind of weird. But um, you know what? The after thing, how cool was that? After the game? Yeah. Oh, it was just great. Double I mean, overtime win. Double have you ever had that before? You ever any level? Oh, double uh, double overtime loss last year. Yeah. Okay. I well, mean, double overtime yeah. win is better than double overtime yeah. loss. Yeah, it is. There's just. <laughs> I mean, walk, I mean, just it's just it was a phenomenal feeling. I mean, especially I was at that game too. Yeah, in, in Battleground. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, I mean, it was just phenomenal. That was their only win. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, but anyways, we were just walking around. I mean, seeing every, everybody, and I mean, I, I don't know. It's just walking. I mean, we had done it earlier. Mark Moore's away win, and it was just total confidence boost. You know, we can do stuff that we didn't think we could be able to do in the season. All right. Well, three and zero in league, but. You know, there's still, you don't win this yeah. game against Hawkinson, you still could miss the playoffs. Um, you know, because, you know, there's all the stuff that goes out there. But again, right now, we're focused last week. Uh, great game. You know, you, you had the 100 yards plus rushing, the passing, the defense, you're out there. Um, again, it's, it's real impressive to see a team get down early and not fold. And so uh, we want to tell you congratulations. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Adam Shoup, our week seven, GSHFootball.com, player of the week.